It's July 6th, 2022. I'm in, obviously, New York, New Yorker. Um, now, uh, I have, this is the pattern that is surrounding me. Again, I don't know if it's protection. I don't know if it's construct. Um, I'm, I can't quite get a handle on it because apparently there are other management pieces and agreements in patterns that are around here. Um, I am watching, however, the monitor. Um, I saw in, now, Thor, Love and Thunder, is coming out not only on Friday, but it's coming out on 78 or 78, which is like huge significance for me. Like, whoosh, blew my mind. Like, thank you for signs from the deep. Um, so, and that was big. And then there's the Dominion, the World Dominion, and this Jurassic Park and Rex being a tea that I seem to be able to kind of sort of in a hold it in a in a bubble that I know exists in importance along with some other signs of the times um, so now there's this thing um, I again in social construct I was in mostly when I was integrated into a school system within Long Island, but I've heard it referred to as Ivy League by a city person, one of Lewis's friends, who he was the first generation not only to graduate high school, but also college. Um, he referred to where I went to school as Ivy League. That's what he had heard in his lifetime or frame um, or his exposure to the people of this area. And I was like, that's interesting. I was like, so um, I've heard this thing, uh, actually I've, more I've seen it on like uh, Thor mentions Flix, F-L-I-X. And like flick for me is like that, but, and I saw that reference on one of the trailers and then it was like one of these, like, oh my God, like too much um, sort of a things. And then um, I'm like, all right, so ghost stories. I was like, why? I've seen on, like they have, um, in my children's life frame, they sent home goosebumps which is some kind of horror story. My kids didn't like it. Um, they did, they didn't. It was, I had a monitor for nightmares. Um, and then, insensitivity level. Um, but I've heard of these ghost stories. And I'm like, all right, so now, if ghost stories, I don't have like a scholar to rely upon to ask these things. Like what are the origins of ghost stories and like civilizations that have carried traditions forward being that I'm in this social passport to social studies in some kind of student workbook area that's under construction, it feels, um, after some great melting pot between ver five very specific areas in the east but now in my life frame from when this was first started until now there's been a couple of things in the field that look off and don't look correct anymore um some mention of a civil war end with a date with the 65 65 is also 
the number that they put on the cancer warning on the California governor thing that the locals are telling me is not really cancer. And I'm like, I, and he's like, check with the doctor. I'm like, I trust the doctors in this area less than I trust you. Because I don't know why any of you are here. I really, I don't. And I don't know where people that I can trust and rely upon, where they flicked themselves. Like, I have no idea how they scatter or gather elsewhere. Um, so I'm thinking of this ghost story and I'm like, why would they pass ghost stories forward? Ghost stories, okay, in like an actual way, right? So I'm watching Stranger Things, S4E2, which says chapter two, Vecna's curse, which I have no idea what that is. And I'm like, I've never heard this word Vecna before. I've heard vector, sector vector in a I don't know, more clarity section of humanity that may or may not exist any longer. I'm not real sure. It's when I wake up every day, they don't exist here. So I'm looking through the glass into the hall of hallucinations um, at what ghost stories they're saying. And I'm like, right, for ghosted operations, there is a guy that they put in as an actor. He looks really like if, like Don Saladino is a definite character that integrated with my grade in Cold Spring Harbor back in the day. In 11th grade, he was dating Tyler, something or other, Pecora. So now that relationship was like an anchor of reality for that community. Inside here, there was a study hall for me with Healy and two guys um, of significance, but I don't know if they really went to the school. They were in my study hall. I don't know if they were in grade. I don't know how the school was being worked, quite frankly. I mean, I was held there all day long. I don't know if they were coming and going in some special whatever. Um, so I'm looking and the Steve guy that they got going on in the Stranger Things, I know what his real name was back in the study hall. And the guy in front that sat in front of this particular Steve guy we're keeping the story straight, but with misaligned names and labels and all sorts of things for ghost story purposes. Um, it was, we were all in the same room. And at some point, someone knows that we were all there together. They may have known why they were there together. Um, Collegian C may have already been blessed upon one i'm not sure the other one i don't know what his blessings were going to be for his life frame i don't seem to have had any at this point and i'm not real sure why and what happened so then i see this guy steve but i know what his real name is from real world where i was being held um and he was the one who booked the trip to Florida where when I was speaking in Linda's kitchen on the phone, I used the real name from the field, which was not Steve, to speak to Linda, to ask permission to go to Florida with this other named individual which she said yes, and so we went. And then tables turned to something else, whatever that means, in importance. Um, but now I'm seeing this Stranger Things, this Duff Field, D-U-F-F, -F, which is a Hawkins reference in Particle String, 
deep theoretics of multiverse and universe and what happens outside of visual spectrum, which the normal humans don't even think about. But again, that goes back to Westworld and where in the park are you? And at sub-level B83, that's where it looks like I'm at at the moment. And I don't know where the crew went. I really, I don't. I mean, I've been ghosted in the fields. Now I got ghost stories. I see that they are looking with an OAR, O-A-R. When I listen to the record of O-A-R on the radio, or on the Alexa, um, it's something about uh, the American Revolution. Um, and the words... I don't know how it crossed my path, um, but it was somewhere in Patch Hog that I got the CD. Um, somebody recommended it. I forget who. Um, so that was significant. Um, but they're poking the ore at the eddy. E-D-D-I-E, -D -D -E, which also does not look like reference of what I have in whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, it's a different look. My Eddie looks very different. He looks very Nicole Cataruza. He does not look like any of these characters in this Stranger Things um, portrayal in Duff Field from Hawkins in an inside out, upside down kind of a way. They're in the upside down. Westworld at the moment's in an inside out, as far as I can tell. Um, so Eddie pops out and then Eddie tries to tell the story. Now, Eddie, I don't know if that's for Edie's force where you have two forces of nature. Sometimes they go in the same same vector and velocity um, but then sometimes they're opposing forces um, and they run counterintuitive to one another um, when they are grinding at a halt and theoretically I can't even speak is when you have two opposing forces and one contraband is able to balance out the other contraband and now you have a balance um, but actually I have to stay away from contraband because I realized in this Civil War document, it's what Friedman uses uh, to mention something about education of the not us, um, which is really frightening because at some point you have to educate the not us about who we are, what we're about, and what we're, what our requirements are for some form of joint tenancy to keep peaceful motion. And they must abide by that. But then on the other hand, if disturbances break out, I mean, I've heard a lot of new voices that don't want to follow what was set before certain families arrived. I mean, there's very specific passport and taught um, for other areas of operation. It says here, there's West Troy for Helen, trapped between Sparta and Troy. Um, and of course, I've also been named Hella for Ragnarok, but I don't even know because I can't read and I don't have access to that level of historical reference or ghost story, I suppose. Um, I'm stuck in this Western world, in this Western version of what's erupted over my real life frame and what clues I'm finding um, still being carried forward because there are requirements um, by the big five, which in this uh, taught version with photos and with lists 
of acceptable immigration standards and what is leading it still to this day in this modern age um, the big five starts with Irish for the fighting Irish which is the 69 Irish, Swedish, German, European Jew, and Italian. That rounds up out the five, according to the immigration push and pull factors graphic organizer that is still in documentation, circulation, and motion in New York City, along with um, some flying of different flags, which are also mentioned in here for specific local purpose. Uh, it says making the empire state immigration, industrialization and Western movement. And then there's the tenancy and tenants in common that are here and what is required for teaching and so on and so forth and management. Um, that's at the simplistic level. So now I'm watching Stranger Things. Um, I see them poking with the oar into a rowboat. I see this man jumping out, being very frightened, and then telling his ghost story about cracking, about this cheerleader that he witnessed almost get sucked up through the ceiling. Her name was Chrissy, and it had the number two, Roman numeral two, which looks like a, uh, a number 11 at times. Um, and then it's the cracking of uh, her knees, her legs and things, where in this ghost story, they exaggerate the motion of the legs actually physically cracking and turning in other directions. That's at ghost story level uh, for field, I mean, in Rus Aja, but like in field, whatever. But in actual terms, like where I am now, with the energy field being off and radiologically as exposed as this is to all sorts of different frequencies and hertz and whatever, um, the, the plasma is what sounds like a cracking, like almost like you do in the knuckle. Um, that's what is happening regularly between the different uh, tarsals and metatarsals and calcaneus in the um, what the humans use as foot and then within the person capsule of the knee. Um, and at times in the elbows, which I know the other humans are suffering under these conditions, but they're so stuck in this medical conversation of standard standardization of communication that I'm beyond that at the moment. And I look between the Hawkins field of Duff and the kinesthetic body mechanics, and it's a completely different conversation, but it's not in this, I mean, it's in a witches and wizards category, which is what they call the unforeseen, but are categorically very easy to whatever. But again, it's, it's this medicine between um, the environment. It's more of a Gaia approach, I think is another word I've heard the humans reference. So anyway, so Stranger Things comes out this season four, episode two, and this one scene is really pertinent, I feel, for whatever may have been going on unbeknownst to me when I was in the study hall with this incredibly good looking one person and then the guy who they call Steve who set up the Florida trip where I actually went to Florida and I'm not sure what the Florida 
I don't, I don't know where we landed. I don't know how I got there. It was one of those things where um, I was there. My body was there. But when I'm here, I'm unable to retrieve the memory it wholeheartedly. Like, I know I was there with him. I know there was witnesses that stayed behind that know I went there with him. But the witnesses that stayed behind, I'm not sure if they were fully briefed on what else happened at this college uh, interview or introduction to the college. So this is a ghost story. What are you doing? You might be in here. Take that tarp off. You're so brave. You take that tarp off. Hey, look over here. Someone was here. Maybe he heard us. Got spooked and ran. Don't worry. Sammy will get him with his aura. Uh, I know you think you're being funny, Henderson, but considering the fact that everyone in this room has nearly died about a hundred times, personally, I don't find it funny enough. Wait, 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 wait. Let me be really clear. Um, before Romer, 1976, um, the crazy donkey guy ever was put into my footpath and foot traffic while I was happily in a relationship with whatever elsewhere and did not want to leave his side. I said, I will go home and I will wait for you. I don't want to be there with Janice. I don't want to go out with girls. I don't want to go to a bar and just wait. Are you really going to show up? Before all of that happened, there was this. There was a Dan. There was a college. There was a Florida trip. And there was this ghost story with Steve going on. Tia Frio, 1975, also does not have any of this going on as far as I'm concerned. These were events that happened to me in my youth that have no relation or no tie-ins with this Tia Frio, 1975, that caused a May 2015 event, 5 15, 15 that marriage date never needed to happen, along with 3 27 1999. There is something more insidious going on for these data points and this attempted takeover, which is being fed through this massive accumulation of like sky points and allowing aviators to fly just anywhere with software in their pocket from countries that nobody that are not the original five to hear. And then some kind of reverberation, some kind of expansion on alien technology, some kind of use of statistical and quantitative data that then they're doing predictive software and they're trying to dominate over markets and futures and make money out of nothing, out of thin air. And it's really dangerous because then there's public health, there's management, there's, there's a whole lot of deteriorating effects that stem off of that. But I can see how many people jumped on and wanted a part of it almost like some unregulated banking of sorts. I don't know why that would be. I don't know how to rectify it. I don't know how to scale back on it. I don't know how to be part of the cure for whatever I had to bear into this world, um, unbeknownst to me. But here we are. 
Steve, why don't you drop the oar? Hey, cool. Keith, cool. Yeah. What are you doing here? We're looking for you. We're here to help. Hey, these are my friends. You know Robin. From band. This is my friend Max. The one who never wants to play D&D. Hey. We're on your side. I swear on my mother. Right, guys? Yes, yes, we swear. Uh, on, on Dustin's mother. Yeah, Dustin's, Dustin's mother. Just want to talk. Okay. I want to know what happened. You won't believe me. Trust. See, the problem with me is there's so much interest that's been generated throughout my life frame. People know things from elsewhere. There's rumors, there's ghost stories, there's epics, there's sagas, there's real truth. And then they breeze in for whatever since I was a youth, young, but then my life gets worse and everybody keeps leaving. It's like they take what they want and they leave and my life keeps getting worse. But yet I have a lot of the answers. I always was going to based on how the cosmos are woven and how 10% of the human population are not like the rest. They have a very specific key feature and purpose. To maintain like balance, order and homeostasis. Now, this morning, I didn't tape it, I thought I did. Um, there was a Drew Barrymore show, which was a rerun, with something called a Dax Shepherd and a Kristen Bell. Um, they were on this show. Uh, they were using words that were weird for me, because I haven't heard these before. Um, but... Um, and I, I've had no exposure to them. Um, I've seen her on television before. I have no idea what her husband though does. Um, again, it's like, I catch these like little flashes of other white people and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like my age. Um, so there's this. I mean, like, they call it peer group, P-I-E-R, but that's peer mont. I mean, again, that goes back to J.P. Morgan Chase with peer mont. So, uh, and the children and the ancestors that are here. Um, so they're technically, I suppose, within that range of age and gap and genetic genealogy of profile, that match um, as Americans, um, or at least their actors that work within America, I think. Although I don't know. Well, I mean, they were on a show, so personalities. I, again, a talent. I don't really know how what the industrious words are because I haven't been involved in it. Um, 
So that was interesting. They had like this conversation, um, which Lynn and I were watching them have this conversation. I was like, I'm again, looking through glass on this one and I'm just holding a line of, I don't know what any of you, I don't know what the words mean. So, but again, I find that is just how this generation has gone in what should have been a peer group, but I don't even know how to get or, or how a peer group even begins or how they formally organize or if they were formally organized, why I was left out. Again, doesn't, it doesn't really make much sense. Um, but here we are in the brokenness of this world. It's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Ketterosa. It's earth, solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside station, Bayside, New York, one, one, three, six, one. Um, and today is July 6th, 2022.